What up? This is Rama Screen, and in celebration of Canada's popular comedy series Jan, season one and season two, now available to stream on Hulu, I'm here talking with the star of this show, Jan Arden. How are you, Jan? I think I'm excellent. How are you doing? I am well. Thank you for taking the time. Let me start by Thank saying you. I finally got to watch a few episodes of Jan recently, and it is one of the funniest things I've ever seen on TV. <laughs> I, I should have been aware of it sooner, but now I'm, I will definitely check out the rest of the show. Now, uh, this is sort of a fictionalized version based on your events, your, your life and your career. Um, is it 100% fictionalized or are there moments where it kind of parallels exactly what, you, what happened and what you experienced? No, it's pretty fictitious. Thank God, because the television version of myself is the most narcissistic, self-centered, like she, she just doesn't understand the trail of tears and disaster and chaos she leaves behind her. Um, I obviously do have a music career in, that's how I've spent the last 30 years of my life. I've been with Universal Records for 28 years and I'm actually just working now on my 15th record with them. Um, so getting the opportunity to do this television show five years ago, I thought when I got the opportunity that sort of came across my plate, I just thought I need to keep this close to the bone. So working with my partner, Leah Gauthier, who's one of the, the creators of the show, she's just like, let's make her a musician. Let's do something you know how to do. Um, so, I mean, I, I just, I'm so glad I'm not her, although she has a much better love life than me because I'm, I'm very single living here, like alone with my dog. But I, um, it's been nice to kind of have my mother, my mom, my actual mom passed away a few years ago, but I have a mom in the show. I don't have sisters in real life, but I have a woman named Zoe Palmer who plays my sister. That's been interesting because I have two brothers in my real life. Um, the whole thing has been such a freaking adventure. I can't even tell you. I, I still wake up going, is this even real? Like, am I actually doing a scripted comedy? You are still on top of your game. Was it surreal and challenging to play this other version who is essentially struggling to stay relevant? <laughs> Surprisingly easy. <laughs> I, think, I think it could go to hell at any minute for any of us, right? Uh, I mean, with COVID, I was just about to go on tour for like three months and it all just came to a screeching halt. So everyone has kind of had to reimagine their lives. I'm very fortunate that I've been doing this show now for the last three years. Um, and we're just starting to shoot season three now. And I'm so grateful because I'm not touring. Um, you know, we hope that we're back out in the road this summer, at least for outdoor shows, which is looking pretty good. Good, good, good. On a bird's eye view, I'm curious, in what ways do you think American comedy and Canadian, Canadian comedy share in common? Uh, are there Canadian types of humor that Americans don't quite understand and vice versa? I don't know. I mean, we've been so inundated with American comedy. Canada and, 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 and America are, are joined not only physically, but very much culturally. I mean, all the shows that we get, you know, Big Bang Theory and, and Saturday Night Live and, you know, all the great comedies that you guys have enjoyed over the years. It's the same here. I think there's been a, maybe a teeny bit of disconnect. I, I don't know if you're familiar with SCTV, which oh, is yeah. where, you know, um, Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy and Rick Moranis, Andrea Martin, John Candy. Yep. All these brilliantly successful American actors and comedians got their start on this zany little show that that was filmed part of it in Edmonton, Alberta, which is a northern Canadian city. <laughs> um, I think funny is funny. I don't think you need to know anything about Canada to get this humor. It's very physical comedy. It's very much about finding your relevance in life, being middle aged, trying to figure out your career. These are universal themes. Uh, it's a very physical show. You've seen enough episodes to realize that there's quite a bit of physical comedy that goes on, but people will get it. I think they'll get the family dynamic. And I think the musical part of our show is really interesting as well. There's quite a bit of music in this show. So final question. Um, do you think uh, artists such as Jan should reach the point of contentment where they just enjoy the fruits of their labor? Or do we celebrate the fact that Jan is still hustling for that next album, for that next live performance, for that next recognition? You know, at some point, you got to lay down your, 
you just got to lay it down. I just don't think TV Jen has ever, any intention of doing that. I think she's still so naive. I think she's a really late bloomer. Mm. And I think she needs to work on her spirituality and what really makes her happy and makes her tick. She keeps screwing up these really good relationships that come her way. And it's just that constant drive. And I think that's an unfolding. I feel like as the series moves forward, her mother's dementia, I think, will play into what really is important in life. So I think those parallels will be really interesting to explore as we as we go along. All right. For my fans at home, go check out Jen, uh, available now on Hulu, season one and season two. Jen Arden, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you so much.